Hey, Ron. Hey, man. How's it going? Man, it's about 33 degrees down here right now. I know when I left home this morning, it was uh, 53, and I think it's 35 right here now. Yeah, it, it rained, and then it got really cold. Yeah. Man, Ron, it's a um, busy, busy week. Another busy week. Well, the last thing I heard was he was not going. Well, he's not. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not going. The a um, uh, couple things. Um, looks like old Derek Dooley, he's, uh, he's brought in most of his own guys. He, um, I think the only person that he let go was, when it was all said and done, I think it was David Reeves. I'm not sure how they're working that deal. That's actually Lane Kiffin's brother-in-law. So I don't know. There's been rumors that he got that he was going to get fired, and he'd take the two-year contract and get paid out on that, and go out to Southern Cal and be a G, uh, graduate assistant. And then when the contract's over, go in there and be a coach. I I don't really know what's going on with all that. I just my thought is, you know, he recruited him from South Carolina. He was good enough to come from South Carolina to go up there. And it seems to me that he should be good enough to go to Southern Cal. If if you know this was supposedly the best coaching staff in America so I don't know he's only got th he's only got four of those guys out there right now including himself so I don't know if they're the best coaching staff in America or not well they certainly got a couple of decisions he's got to make right yes sir and probably uh, you know you would think they would do that before national signing day yeah yeah absolutely um, hey Ron, I'm writing a uh, I'm writing a story that's got some interest in the upstate of South Carolina. I it it will probably go out tomorrow morning, but I did a uh, I wrote, I'm writing a story on Marcus Lattimore, okay. and I'm I'm basically making the case why he should stay in the state of South Carolina. Okay, well, what what do you got in that uh, in that article? Well, um, just to kind of give a quick preview of it, basically. When it all comes down and it's all said and done, you know, we all got families, and I know that his mom is a big part of his life, and he's got family up there. But the reality is for his family is when it comes down to game day Saturdays next fall, it's an hour and 20-minute drive down to Columbia, and it's almost a five-hour drive to Auburn. Right. So, you know, right off the bat, that in itself, that means that if, if they're playing at Auburn and it's a night game, it pretty much means that his mom is not going to be able to go to that game. Uh, there's a big difference between driving an hour and a half and driving five hours, and she, and she would still have to drive through Atlanta. And and I can tell you from my own experience, I wouldn't recommend that on anybody. So I mean, it could easily be six or seven hours from here from Spartanburg to Auburn. Second thing is, um, I think you know there, when you look at his position. They've already got a running back uh, that's that's uh, been recruited to them. That's a five-star running back that c called Michael D uh, Dyer, and most likely he is going to be the starter. I mean, he is um, he's he's probably more highly recruited than Lattimore, and um, you know there's only so much room in the backfield. You you got you got two guys back there. It would be in Marcus Lattimore's best interest to go to a school where they don't have a big back that's already in place. This kid is going to be in the same recruiting class, so it will be something that he will be, have to continue with for four years. So you take that right off the bat, um, and and I, I think it starts presenting some problems. And, and I think, you know, and I, I'll make this same argument. I, I'm of the opinion that if you if you live in the state of South Carolina, if you have the opportunity to play for one of the South Carolina schools, that's where you should go first. Now, if you want to, if you're, if you got some kind of family ties, or you have some kind of other thing like um, maybe they're not offering an educational program that you're looking for, or something like that, you can go out of state. But when you're when you're playing for your in-state school and you're a superstar, you have the opportunity to bring huge economic development back to South Carolina. 
because if South Carolina's football program does well, it, it brings jobs to South Carolina. And it, in my case in point is look at Miami, look at the University of Miami. When that program started up again, they got all those kids from South Florida to start going there, and they rebuilt that town. I'm talking, you know, they win a national championship, and you're talking millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars that were put in that program. I think that South Carolina, they didn't play very good in the bowl game this year, but I do think they got the foundation. They got the players. They got the facilities. Next year is going to be a breakout year for them. And, and I just, I'm just of the opinion that these in-state kids, they need to go to, to these in-state schools if they can. Um, if, if they just love it somewhere else, then, then they can do it. But I do think that when you go out of state, I don't think that your family can follow you, and I don't think your friends can follow you. And, and, and that's a big argument because when everything's said and done, that's, you know, at some point, Marcus Lattimore will go back to Burns. He will go back to Spartanburg area in 15 years from now. And it would be nice to say that he made a, set a whole bunch of records at the University of South Carolina as opposed to another school. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, the other deal is he's sharing a backfield, you know, and it's, it's going to be hard to get a whole bunch of yards if you're sharing the backfield with another running back. Marcus Lattimore is going to South Carolina. I don't I mean, I mean, I knew this two years ago. I knew this two years ago. I got Auburn friends calling me up. Every time they write, the, the last thing that was written was that he was leaning toward Auburn. Yeah. And I couldn't believe it. And I got all my Auburn friends and people sending me stuff, but – I'm going to publish it. It'll be published uh, in the morning. That your your people can check it out at secsportsreport.com. You can Google Marcus Lattimore. It'll pop up because um, I've never gone after a specific player, but I just kind of felt like in this particular circumstance, since it's narrowed down to those two schools, it is a clear cut case for me that South Carolina is a better choice. This is. Man, I hope he does. I know that the deal is when those kids get down there, there's a whole lot of hype going on, and it's a different environment, and it would be real easy to get pulled into that. But I just think it would be a mistake for him. I believe South Carolina is a better choice for him, and he can start playing immediately. Thank you, Ron. Have a good, great weekend. Okay. Jay Hogan, the SEC Sports Report.com. Remember, after the top of the hour news, Wayne Green, who is the Eden Sports page on WRIX, we'll be right back. Very annoying. I hear it. That's it. <laughs>